Today we're going to examine pitch, yaw, and roll. The first of these is pitch. Now pitch is controlled by the elevators and it's an up and down movement. I have a little diagram in the corner of a pitcher who is going to be pitching a ball and beside it is an elevator. Now in real life if I press the up button on an elevator, my elevator will go up. If I press the down button, the elevator will go down. Well, The same thing holds true in an airplane. It also has an elevator and the elevators are located right back here, this section and this section, those are the elevators, and it's located on the horizontal stabilizer which is right here, this, this section right there, and that's called the horizontal stabilizer. Now just like in real life, when I press uh, the up button, if I turn the elevators up, my plane is going to pitch up. If I turn them down, the elevators down, then the plane is going to go down. And it looks like this. If I have my plane, the elevator is up, I'll be going up. And if I turn my elevators down, then my plane is going to go down. And that's pitch. The next one that we're going to look at is yaw. And the yaw is controlled by the rudder and it's the left to right movement of the nose. Now the rudder is right back here in this section right here, that's our rudder, and it's located on the vertical stabilizer. So here's our vertical stabilizer, just think vertical, and there it is in this section right here, so our vertical stabilizer. Just like in a uh, boat, if you turn the rudder one way, your boat is going to turn and we can turn the plane the exact same place. So if my rudder is turned to the left, my plane is going to yaw to the left. If I turn my rudder to the right, my plane is going to yaw to the right. So if we have a diagram of an airplane, now we just think of this airplane with uh, me sitting inside of it. So if I'm sitting inside of it and I turn the rudder to the left, then I would yaw to the left. If I turn the rudder to the right, I would yaw to the right. And again, it would be just the nose of the plane. I have a whole plane moving, but it would move in that direction. So that's yaw. The next one that we're going to look at is uh, the roll. And the roll is controlled by the ailerons, and the ailerons are located right over here. That's what we're looking at here. And of course, that takes place on the wings, so we know where the wings of the plane are. Now, in a roll, um, I need to have one aileron up and one aileron down, and it's always going to roll to the one that I have up. So if I have the left aileron up, I'm going to have the plane roll to the left. Again, if I have the right aileron up, then it's going to roll to the right. And a roll is going to look like this. I'm just going to take my plane out of here for a moment. And again, if my left aileron is up, this is what's going to happen. I'm just going to be rolling to that side. So there it is. The other one were up, it would roll to that side. So that's the movement of a roll. In class, we're going to be talking about our famous John Travolta staying alive, and uh, in his move, he always has one hand up and one hand down. So which hand is up, that's the side you're going to roll to. So roll left or right by the aileron. So let's do a quick review. First thing we have is pitch pitch was controlled by the elevators and there they are right there and it's an up and down movement. The next thing that we have is yaw and the yaw is controlled by the rudder and the rudder is back here and that is a left or right movement. The last is a roll and the roll is controlled by the ailerons. There we have our ailerons and that's where you have a bank, or sometimes you'll hear the word roll. So pitch, yaw, and roll.